Hey cookie creators and lovers alike, I'm Gabby. Pumpkin Spice is back on the menu. So today on the Cool Cookie Show, we're making some fun fall cookies. We'll start by flooding the lower half of our acorn with a light brown. For my piping consistency icing, I'm using a number one Teco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'm using a number four Wilton tip. Now before our flooded surface dries, let's use some dark brown icing and a number five Wilton tip to pipe in some accents. Now we'll let this surface dry for about 6 to 12 hours before we go in and do the piping detail at the top of the cookie. For the top of our acorn, we'll start with some piping consistency icing. For the tip, I'll use a number 5 Wilton tip. And for the ruffle detailing over the lid, I'll be using a 102 Wilton tip. A Wilton 102 tip is the type of tip that starts off a little bit narrow and expands as it goes. In order to get our desired effect, place the wider end of the tip against the cookie or surface and pipe in a U-like fashion. Now let's add this detail to our cookie. If you're worried about wrecking the shape of your first layer, you can always give it a couple hours to dry. This cookie's all done and ready to get a little nutty. For my fall leaf, I'll start by flooding the entire surface with a copper orange. For my piping consistency icing, I'll be using a number one Teco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'll be using a number three Wilton tip. Now we'll let this surface dry for about 6 to 12 hours before we complete the rest of its detail. Now that the first layer of our leaf has completely set, let's give this leaf some texture using some paper towel and some brown food coloring. You really don't need a lot of food coloring for this technique, otherwise it will get away from you and you'll have huge blobs of brown. So start with just a very minimal amount of brown food coloring. Now we'll let the food coloring set for about five minutes before we go in and complete its piping. Now with some darker brown icing and a number one Wilton tip, let's go in and complete the veins on our leaf. This autumn leaf is all done. For my squirrel cookie, I've gone in with some food coloring marker and made some rough guidelines to assist with my piping. I'm going to start by working on his eye detail. For my piping consistency icing, I'm using a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'll also be using a number one Ateco tip. Now we'll let this layer dry for about 20 minutes to an hour before we go in and fill in the black part of his eyeball and the rest of his body. With some black piping consistency icing and a number three Wilton tip, let's go in and fill in his eye. 
Now with the brownish gray, let's go in and flood the squirrel's body. For my piping consistency icing, I'm using a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'm using a number four Wilton tip. Now we'll let this layer dry for about 6 to 12 hours before we go complete the piping on the body and fill in his tail. With the same grayish brown and a number one Ateco tip, let's go give some outlining detail to our squirrel. Now with our creamy white piping icing and a number one Wilton tip, let's give our squirrel a little sparkle in his eye. Now we'll let this cookie sit for about 20 to 30 minutes before we finish up his nose and pipe in his tail. To finish up the detailing on our squirrel, I've got a number 5 Wilton tip for the black nose and I'll be using a number 5 Inox tip for the tail. For those of you who aren't familiar with the Inox tip, it is one that's shaped somewhat like a star with 5 spokes. It's commonly used for making a simple rose. And although it's very easy, it's quite beautiful. In this case, we're going to use it for the detail of our squirrel's tail. This squirrel is all done and ready to get into mischief. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of The Cool Cookie Show. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up. Want to be a part of the creativity? Let me know what characters and shapes you'd like to see in the comments below. For more of my cookie creations, check out my channel, tune in every Tuesday, and don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, stay sweet!